Well, first of all, congrats to uh, Tulane. Um, we felt like going into the game that having lost to them twice already this year, we felt like we we had a plan to uh, come out on top, obviously. Uh, they had some key rebounds in the third and fourth quarter. Um, we, we didn't shoot the ball very well in the third quarter, but give uh, Tulane credit for that. But I'm just really proud of the fight of our team. Uh, you know, we lost our point guard uh, on February or January 25th, and so we had to have some younger guys come to the front, and that's K.K. Rodriguez and Destiny Johnson. And uh, those two guys, along with our three other starters, really made us a different team. We have started playing a different brand of basketball. And tonight, I think you saw that. We didn't get as many transition points today as we have the last uh, couple of weeks. But um, thought Tulane did a great job of stopping our transition. But for us to have four people in double figures, that hasn't happened in a long time. Uh, for us to shoot uh, 44% and score 61 points, I mean, we hadn't done that a lot. And uh, so tonight was a little bit more low scoring for us based on the last couple of weeks simply because we didn't get the points in transition. But again, um, kudos to uh, Tulane for taking away our transition. Coach, if you maybe want to talk a little bit, and I addressed this question with Coach Stockton, what made the two teams you know, very similar this year? You know, There wasn't much in terms of different point differential in, in your previous two matchups, and you know, today going down to the wire. Well, I think we both have some premier players who, um, you know, they, this is kind of the go-to. Uh, we have Kendra and Elliott. They have Crystal Freeman. Um, I think that in itself. But then you've got guards who, uh, they've got guards that can shoot it, and they've got Arsula Clark that can get to the rim. Uh, we've got some guards that can shoot it, and we've got some guards that can get to the rim. So uh, we're a lot alike, and so both of us were playing different combinations today, just mainly trying to offset uh, what other people had on the floor. Uh, for the student athletes, what, had, what has been the difference maybe the last three weeks of the season for you? You had a lot of momentum coming into the tournament. Um, I think the main difference, just like my coach had stated previously, is just that the different lineup just helped us get a lot more points in transition. We were just playing faster and able to work together a little bit better. There was more flow to our game. Yeah, I agree with um, them both. We kind of took the offense or the defensive mentality instead of like, with defense being our best offense, and so pushing it whenever we could, even on a when I made shot, just pushing in the ball has made a difference a lot. For both of you, what was Coach's message to you at halftime? You know, being up three. Um, her message was just. Obviously, we didn't want to lose the lead, but like she said, our team has faced a lot of adversity throughout the season, and we just wanted to try to stay on top and fight through any adversity that we had throughout the game for the second half. Yeah, and to get more transition points was yeah. a big point. Play yeah. faster like we have been previously for the last few weeks. Coach, did Tulane do anything differently in that third quarter that may have you know, surprised you after the first half? Well, I think that's the point where they had uh, a lot of their offensive rebounds and they converted those into points. Um, you know, we just didn't shoot the ball very well in that third quarter, and uh, that made a huge difference. Uh, second quarter, um, I felt like, uh, obviously, they outscored us in the second quarter as well, but we were still kind of holding, holding steady. But that, that third quarter, things kind of got away from us a little bit. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.